Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a function called compare and replace. This function is awesome if you receive design changes from external design sources, like your customers, for example. In this case, you can see I'm in a Top Solid CAM document. Here, I have all the tool paths defined and created in order to machine. So now I've just been notified by my customer that he's sending me a new database. Well, here's how you handle it in Top Solid. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to check in your work. By checking in your work, you're protecting it. In fact, you're closing the minor revision. Part ready to cut. That's the comment I put on it. Now that it's checked in, I'm going to go ahead to my customer data folder here where I've already included my new Parasolid file. I just need to right click on it and choose convert document. Now, if you don't have your customer data in a customer data folder here, that's okay. You can right click on a folder in your project, go to import export and choose import file with conversion. Both get the job done. So here I'm gonna choose convert document and here's my version two part. Now, to make things really clear, I'm gonna make sure that I turn off my cam file for the moment. So I'm left with just my part version one and my part version two. Now here, it looks like the part got longer, but maybe there's some other things that have changed with it too, and I'm not quite sure. So what we're gonna first do is, with the original part selected, we're gonna go to the Shape tab, and go over here to Compare and Replace. Now if all you wanted to know is what has changed, you run Compare. But if at the end of the day, you just have to push the changes regardless of what they are, you can skip uh, Compare and go straight to Replace. When I go to replace, the software is going to ask me what's the new document I'm replacing it with. Now this is important. You must have that document open for this to work. So I can select it in the list. As soon as I select it, the software puts us into this synchronous mode where I can zoom up on features and see what maybe is different and what's changed. Let's hit next. In the next window, you can see there's a similar faces and a different faces on new shape. What's interesting on different faces on new shape is it's highlighting what's completely different and showing you on the left original document where those changes are anticipated to go. If I expand similar faces, you have faces with different loops and faces with completely different geometry even. Pretty awesome. So in fact, this design change seems to have changed a lot. I'm gonna hit next again. Finally, if there's any discrepancies, the software is going to ask you for them. So for example, here we have this edge here and it's not quite sure where that edge is on the sending file. So I can come over to here and say it's this edge. This edge is this edge and so on. Okay. Now at the end of the day, what's kind of interesting here is this. You only need to worry about updating edges if somewhere down this, the, the chain of events when you programmed your part or did design work on it or whatever, you had reference to those edges. If you didn't make any type of those references, you can skip these steps. Next, I'm gonna hit go. And when I hit go, what I want you to notice is I'm still on plate V1, but notice all of those changes are now inside this original file. Now here's the best part. I'm gonna go hit save. As soon as I hit save, now Top Solid PDM goes to work for me and it has notified all downstream parts, project elements, whatever, that a design change has happened. And let's take a deeper look at our revision level. Now to see revisions, you got to have revisions turned on right here. But notice here, I'm on minor revision one. Minor revision zero, if you look at my preview down here as I click through them, is still protected. So I can always go back to minor revision zero if I want to. Kind of cool. To update the cam file, we double click on it. And when we double click on it, boom, now all my geometry is up to date. All I have to do is regenerate. Now, for sure, I'm still going to have more work to do here because there's new features in this part. But all the existing features were not lost. That's the best part about Top Solid. We're always doing as much as we possibly can to help simplify your life and get engineering changes through that much faster. Now, again, because it is Top Solid Cam, we can do things simply. Watch, I can drag and drop that toolpath to there. It machined all of that. Maybe here, I want to do some slot milling. Why? No, we don't want slot milling. Let's use side milling. Let's finish the side here. And instead, let's just go change the tool now. So I used all the same settings, but I want to use a smaller tool. How about this tool? Perfect. And like that, now I've pushed those design changes as well. 